Before the sun rises, they start putting the chickens on around 1.30 in the morning. Emanuel Lutheran church members are firing up the stove. Take them off the bone about a little after five. Preparing their famous chicken and dumplings. We have a good time together. No, I ain't talking. <laughs> We work as a team, as a, a congregation. Barbara Ledford says everything is made from scratch, making their dumplings a success. My goodness, we sold out at 515 last night. Really? You know, that's, that's amazing. The people want to eat them. The church makes the dumplings to get away from everyday foods. You know, like a hamburger, you can just about go anywhere to get that. But chicken and dumplings, you know, people, when they go down the west side, they're looking for the exception. Over 30 pots of chicken and dumplings are made every day. We are not getting any younger. <laughs> it takes a lot more effort to do it. And, uh, you know, you can only do it so long. And, and their recipe, flour and spices. But one ingredient you can't buy. Love. <laughs> like Grandma used to make. Here at Sturgis Kentucky Motoplex with Bill Beard Motorsports, this is Casey, and this is our ride today. Casey, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go do it. Hey. Grab your strap. This will come in. <laughs> I literally can't move. Yeah, you're going to have to kneel down. I had all the in my seat. It is 30 degrees today. Ready? Ready. Here we go, buddy. That fancy piece of machinery is known as a side-by-side -side utility vehicle, and it can go anywhere. It's a feeling that you can never get anywhere else. You can get in your car and go out and do donuts in the field, but you're not going to get the same feeling as the fun and the adventure side of it. Being able to come into a corner at 70 mile an hour and pitch this thing sideways and never have to worry about it. A growing sport sweeping the country from west to east. In only eight years, the Super Bowl of Side by Side, menacingly named King of the Hammers, a 165 mile course through the desert, boulders and other treacherous terrain went from a couple of guys in a field to a crowd of more than 45,000. I would love to see it on the same aspect and playing field of, as the trophy truck stuff. Um, where they're at, the fans that they're getting, um, you know, NASCAR is big and it may be a little too big for the four to five year range, but I'd definitely like to see that even long term. Just the racing in general, um, getting to race side by side with somebody and that adrenaline of you know pushing them out and you know staying off the brakes just that little bit more to get them in the corner and and have the aspect of racing in the corner is the funnest part for me the sport is turning a corner itself even those who don't need the thrill of competition can take the whole family out for a day on the trails you know if you're a married guy and you just got a wife or you have no kids or a girlfriend or whatever she may not want you out on some other different kind of things, so the UTV side of it, you can convince her. Well, you know, you can ride with me, and you can buy a four-seater, you can put your kids in it, you can take those same vehicles and come out here and race with us on any given weekend. As with any sport, safety should always come first, but a five-point harness and roll cage make it almost as safe as crossing the street. The safety factor of it, I can come around that corner, I'm not worried about it, I can go flipping, you know, I'm gonna bang up my car, but at least it's not banging up myself. Racing for kids and anyone into, into video games, it, it's definitely a more positive atmosphere when you get out here into this kind of stuff. When you do get into a bind or get stuck, you gotta work. And that's the, one of the biggest things with video games is you sit there on the couch and you don't get no exercise, you don't get no sunlight. The trials of side-by-side -side racing can teach kids valuable lessons as well. Although these vehicles seemingly can go literally anywhere, the reason it's side by side, you have a partner. If you get stuck like we have here on the side of a hill, your partner can get out and winch you up the hill. No matter how dire the circumstances, there's always a way to escape. From Sturgis, Ryan Brashler, Eyewitness News.
leading up to Christmas holidays, we know that there's not as fortunate families out there in the community. Not a good rapper. Mama taught me well. Through our members here at Fitness 19, we've been able to make contributions to be able to go out and provide for them children. We've provided for about 25 families this year so far. We spent about $300 a piece on all of them. So we, we've had families of five, we've had you know families of two, all the way down to families of one. Uh, it's just been a really awesome experience. All right, we are ready. You just wanna grab these two bags, right? First, it's, a, it's an awkward experience because of all these people that are all anonymous tips through people that have known unfortunate families. Hi, is it all right if we come in? Yep. Hey, how's it going? Merry Christmas. Hi. Merry Christmas. We got some gifts for y'all. Hi. How's it going? Right. What's your name? You want to open some presents? What's, what's your name? One for you. Another one for you, man. All right, there you go. Sorry. Adam, open it. Do you want to open it? Rip it open. Open your present. Is that Winnie the Pooh? Oh. Wow. Yay. Hit me. Okay. Thank you. No problem, buddy. You're welcome. I like that. Oh, they're all good throw. And take it easy, buddy. Give props. See you. Oh, here you go. Nice to meet you. Nice <laughs> to get to see you again. Oh, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry you guys. Christmas. We wish you the best. But here, a little kid his age say, This is the best Christmas. Uh -oh. That's my five. Five, buddy. This yeah. melted my heart. It was awesome.